Welcome to our channel, COD Trainer. PlayStation has been a partner of the Call of Duty franchise for nearly a decade, but that appears to be a thing of the past due to recent developments. According to Twitter user Idle Sloth, PlayStation has most likely lost its marketing deal with Activision. However, Sony provided a preview of the games that he has had on the market. GTA V, Genshin, the Avatar game, and Hogwarts are among the other notable names on the list. On the other hand, the biggest letdown is the absence of duty from the list. In today's video, we are showing you the long-term partnership of Call of Duty with PlayStation that has recently ended. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to never miss out on more videos like this. Except for some PlayStation-exclusive Call of Duty, there isn't as much exclusivity as there has been in the past. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was a limited edition title, while others featured special games or expansions for a limited time. Call of Duty Modern Warfare was available for an entire year on the platform, while Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War featured a few zombies from the PlayStation. Vanguard was released last year and surprised many PlayStation users because extra perks were reduced to almost nothing. So while there are a few new hits and in-game items, there is nothing special for PlayStation users. This appears to have prioritized the enormous gap between the companies. It shouldn't come as a surprise given that Activision is now a subsidiary of Microsoft. The first three iterations of the game will undoubtedly be released on PlayStation as of today. This, however, may assist Microsoft in making the most of it. Activision's flagship franchises are expected to be added to Microsoft's roster. Sony has long fought for the Call of Duty shooter franchise, providing exclusive benefits to PlayStation players. So it could be the end of that, but it could also be the end of a partnership because it has already expired. The games have been developed in collaboration with Activision Blizzard for nearly a decade. Sony previously used this as a temporary exclusivity in order to promote the game. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was initially exclusive to the PlayStation at the time, and other parts received various modes and expansions a little earlier. Modern Warfare's survival mode, for example, was extended to PlayStation for a year, while Black Ops Cold War allowed PlayStation to play free Zombies content. With the release of Call of Duty Vanguard last year, it was clear that the scope of exclusive PlayStation benefits had already been reduced to a barely noticeable minimum. There was little extra fancy here on the PlayStation, aside from double XP events and games, and in the future, the content of everything will likely be zero. This was possible following Microsoft's acquisition of Activision, but Sony now appears to have confirmed the quick implementation. During corporate strategy meetings, Sony PlayStation displayed a graphic that listed the current marketing deals in the game sector, with the first being that there was no Call of Duty. I wish you had the opportunity. Unfortunately, it's unclear whether Microsoft and Xbox will continue to have exclusive COD content in the future. Trailer for Duty Duty Vanguard Plus Warzone Season 3 Classified Arms Battle Pass This new trailer tells the entire story of the game's first installment, which includes Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone Godzilla and King Kong. Phil Spencer, the newly appointed CEO of Microsoft Gaming, stated last week that he had spoken with Sony executives about the franchise. I confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements upon acquisition of Activision Blizzard, as well as our desire to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation, he tweeted. We value our relationship with Sony because it is an important part of our industry. However, gamers have been curious as to what those existing agreements were. Call of Duty games have traditionally been released on Xbox, PC, and PlayStation, where they have sold well. In recent years, Call of Duty games have received extensive promotion on the PlayStation Store and have been linked to massive marketing deals. Every game in the annual franchise has sold well on the PS4 and PS5. According to the NPD Group, Call of Duty games have been the best-selling titles in the US for the last three years. According to the sources, Microsoft is committed to releasing Call of Duty on PlayStation for at least the next two years. Sony and Activision did not respond to requests for comment, Microsoft did not respond. According to people familiar with the situation, future Call of Duty games' plans are hazy. Microsoft expects the acquisition to be completed within the next 6 to 18 months. After that, it will be able to decide whether to continue releasing future Call of Duty games on PlayStation. According to Bloomberg, Activision executives have also discussed spacing out Call of Duty releases rather than releasing them every year. Microsoft may eventually deprive its main gaming rival of an important franchise. Microsoft has previously honored existing contracts before pivoting with some acquisitions. So this is all. Let us know your views and subscribe to our channel for more uploads like this. See you soon.